Hi everybody! In this exercise we are going to create three more sprites and we're going to rename them to Ball, Net and Robot. After creating the sprites make sure that they are all children of the root node and siblings of Texture Rectangle. Once you've added them and renamed them, add the sprites from the graphics folder in the resources to the texture slot in the sprite. And then place them around the cards like so. So pause the video here if you haven't already done it yet. Let's get started. So first of all, let's click on the plus and search for sprite. Here we have a sprite and we're going to rename it ball. It should be moved up here and I'm going to move it in front of the hoop. Let's repeat, create a new sprite. Let's name it Robot and one more sprite named Net. Sprite I mean, one more sprite and name it Move it first. And rename it to net. Okay. We have already imported all the graphics. Next all we have to do is just drag it onto the right slot. So let's start with the net sprite. Let's drag the net image. And then the robot sprite, here we drag the robot texture. And the hoop sprite at the ball sprite gets the ball texture. We're gonna zoom in quite closely in order to place the net just right. Now let's test to see what happens when I add the when the ball goes into the basket. Yeah, it works quite well. It's gonna bounce off the backboard and it's gonna go in the basket. But what if I had the ball in front? If I had the ball in front it wouldn't look right. Same as if I had it behind. It goes behind the board as well as behind the net. So we need to keep the ball between the hoop and the net. That way it will look cool when it goes in. It will at least look like it makes sense anyway. Cool is another thing. Okay, let's keep the ball there for now. Let's move the uh, robot next. When I put the robot here, I can judge the height and I can use the arrow keys to move him. I can also uh, click and drag and hold shift to constrain the movement. And there we have it. That's the solution to the exercise. Join me in the next video when we will be adding some physics to our basketball court.